Hey everybody, today I decided to do a quick little video of the f my favorite samples from Beauty Box 5 and Birchbox. And it's kind of a farewell to the Beauty Boxes for right now because I canceled my subscription to both of them the day that I filmed the video because I was really disappointed in some of the products that I've been getting and both the boxes they just had really disappointing products for me so I decided to cancel my subscription to both of them for the time being maybe I'll come back to them or explore different beauty boxes like ipsy bag or something else if you have any suggestions let me know down below or just do different subscriptions like I'll still do loot crate and I'm planning on getting some little subscription boxes for my cats and then I also signed up for Japan Crate but I did the Doki Doki one which this upcoming month's theme is cats so I couldn't resist that and I'll see how that goes and if I'll decide to keep doing them and with Loot Crate I don't have them every month because what I like about the service is you can skip a month instead of just canceling your subscription altogether because they tell you what the theme is and if you don't really like the theme you can just skip the month and see if you like next month theme or just skip that one as well. So let's get to my favorite products. I'm sure I have more products that I got from beauty boxes that I really like but these are just the ones that I use most recently or more regularly than the other ones and there's some like I said that I really don't like. And I believe I have them separated in between Birchbox and Beauty Box 5 to tell you which ones I got. And if you're interested in them, you can go to their website and buy them. And I know if you're a Birchbox subscriber, you'll get points which add up to money that you can use in their shop to buy stuff. And it's not just cosmetics on their website. You can buy like home goods and stuff like I bought a frame and got some sunglasses and all this stuff so let's just get to it the first thing I want to do the box box stuff first and then the beauty box 5 is this little cargo eyeshadow duo in beach and bridge it's just your nice little neutral brown and champagne color that are slightly shimmery metallic but not overly so they're definitely not matte and one line that I would like to explore more if they still have it in the shop is the Love of Color by or with Tati from Glam Life Guru and they had a box where you could where she curated all the products and I was actually really happy with that one or you could just do the regular one and get a sample of one of them you could choose and I went with the lipstick and I wish I would have gotten the kind of dark purple one but that one was all sold out or whatever so I got the red one and I really like it it feels nice on the lips it stays pretty a really, really long time I remember I said something about wearing it at the Christmas party I went to and only had to reapply it once and really like this nice color payoff and I like the size that you can just kind of pop it in your purse and go on and there's also Day Trip, which is a one and done shadow stick. Excellent color payoff on this. And it's nice, like, gold color that is not showing up. There you go. There. You can see how shimmery and shiny it is, too. And I really like it. It is very long lasting, easy to work with, and just a nice, like, all over the lid shade or nice base for you. The next product is something I believe I talked about in my summer favorites and is the Benefit Gimme Brow in the color 1 which I guess is like the blonde color. And I've been using this just about every day that I decide to put my brows on. Sometimes I wake up in a bad mood and I don't really want to accentuate my brows because sometimes I can't really control my face all that well with my emotions. But I really like this once I learned how to kind of use the product as well. And I use it in conjunction with one of my Beauty Box 5 products. And it'd be really good if you already had kind of thick brows that you don't have to fill in. And you can just use this to like put them in place and like tame them kind of thing. But I really like this and might buy the like full size brand, not brand, full size when I run out of that one. The next product is 
Stilo Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Bezo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But it's a really nice matte red that lasts a long time. Every time I wear it, I get a lot of compliments on it, and it's really comfortable to wear since it is an all day kind of matte affair. And the last product, I want to say that this was Birchbox, but it might have been Beauty Box 5 since Birchbox usually has the more higher end products. And it is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I really like it because it is very lengthening, not so much on thickening, but does have thickening agents in there as well. But I really like it. It goes on nice, stays all day, and just overall good product. The last thing is from Birchbox, and it is the Shea Terra Organics Rose Hips Black Soap Deep Pore Facial Wash. And I have maybe one more application left in here, but I really like it. It really cleans out the pores, makes you feel nice and smooth again, gives you that feeling that like all your pores are just cleansed out, nice refreshing kind of feeling that I look for in face washes and you can also it suggests on the bottle which I never did is you can add sugar to it and make like a sugar scrub out of it as well for your face definitely will be buying this I should do it soon because there's only like one application like I said left in there and on to the beauty box 5 products now towards the end of my subscription they did a lot of like tools and brushes there was one box where it seemed like it was just pretty much all tools and that was part of the reason that I stopped because I wanted more cosmetics than tools but whatever and the tools that I want to talk about these two came together they're from Sweep and it's this little rose gold tweezer and mirror the mirror is just kind of cute little bonus in there but the tweezers are do have a very nice kind of like slant to them and have a good grip sometimes with tweezers they aren't like formed right so they don't really grip whatever hairs you're trying to try to tweeze out very well but i really like those i've been using them the last couple times that i have needed to tweeze my brows and speaking of brows this is just kind of like your basic brow lash brush but I got it in the beauty box 5 and thought I'd talk about it because I do use it when I do my brows and if I have mascara that's kind of clumpy I'll use the lash into this as well but it's nothing special it's just from prestige so it's not like a special brand and this I got like last year in beauty box 5 and it's actually beauty box 5 brand and the labels come off of it but it's just a blending brush and usually blending brushes are like the fluffy brushes but this is a very like concentrated pointed tip tapered tip blending brush where you can really get in there and kind of buff out whatever colors you need to and blend it all together because it is a blending brush and the product that I referred to with the gimme brow is the cella I think that's how you pronounce it. Tantalizing taupe eyebrow color is a very, 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 very small, 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 small little roll up pencil that you can use to define your brows, color them in, and fill them in to give yourself eyebrows when you don't naturally really have eyebrows. The next two products actually came in the same little beauty box and it was was one that was all about like waterproof beauty and all this stuff. And first one is the Mermaid Lashes from Glamour Dolls and it's in the color black. It's just a nice color, color proof waterproof mascara that I found was easier to remove than other waterproof mascaras because sometimes waterproof mascaras they stick to your lashes so much that you end up pulling your eyelashes out or you just can't get it off at all even in the shower after like scrubbing your lids which you shouldn't do and this was just a nice waterproof eyeliner that had a little bit of sparkle in it but nothing distracting or kind of juvenile looking and went on very nicely despite it having glitter in it because sometimes glitter eye 
eyeliners just are clumpy and don't really go on very nicely but this one did and lasted a long time even with the heat and humidity that I deal with on a daily basis living in Florida. The last two things are some eyeshadows for you and the formulation of these were really nice and the colors that they sent me were really nice as well and I really liked the combination of this matte kind of brick red and kind of goldy champagne color and I really liked how those went very well together and since I have hazel eyes you can't really tell in here because it look like I have just kind of black eyes but those colors kind of brought out the green in my hazel eyes and I like that as well and it is kind of difficult to wear red eyeshadows without looking like your eyes are irritated but this one was just the right kind of red and especially with matte color matte reds and pinks you can look like your eyes are irritated so that's why I like it's hard to tell the color but this color right here which I believe is the color sun-dried is a nice kind of metallic red color the only color in here that I really didn't use was the slate color which is probably the one that's called stone cold but the other ones I really liked a lot and this is a little sample palette from Coastal Scents it's from the 42 set so that is it for my favorites that I got from beauty box subscriptions if you have anything to say about what I've sampled let me know down below and I'll see you next time